One of the worst cases of scientific falsification and delusion was Haeckel's evolutionary drawings of embryos. He fraudulently faked the similarities between human and animal embryos. After being exposed, this liar confessed to falsifying his embryo drawings. His caricatures were refuted by the scientific community. Human embryos do not have gill slits. They have pharyngeal sacs. It is unscientific to call them gills. This scam with gill slits stimulates abortion. After all, if a human embryo is not yet a person, then it is not a pity to kill him. Another one of the greatest archaeological fakes is the Peeled Down Man, also known as Eoanthropos Dawsoni. The skull of a medieval man was connected to the jaw of an orangutan, collecting an unknown animal of evolution. This scam changed the world of anthropology and science for half a century. In 1953, Dawson was proven to be a con man and author of the greatest forgery of the scientific world. It became possible to expose him only after 40 years, during which books and articles were written. The Pilldown Man has been considered in 500 doctoral theses. Scientists receive titles and credibility because of these bones. Moreover, more than one generation was fed. The scandalous stories of evolution are impressive in their wildness. The evolutionist Samuel Werner considered pygmies to be monkeys who had not yet passed the stage of evolutionary development. He took a 23-year-old African pygmy, Ottobanga, barbarously separated from his wife and children and brought him in a cage like an animal to America for a world exhibition. Placed in the monkey house, the human Otabanga became a living exhibit of the missing link in evolution. Evolutionists vied with each other to publish articles about the half-ape, half-man. Otabanga lived in the zoo with chimpanzees as an ancient human ancestor. Thousands of people came to see the outlandish animal. In the end, unable to withstand the humiliation, Otabanga committed suicide. Synanthropes became a monstrous hoax. Broken skulls were dug up in a cave near Beijing, stone tools were lying there, and then there were found hearts in the cave. Evolutionists reprinted the myth that the remains of our prehistoric ancestor were found. But these were just monkeys that people ate. But nobody saw ten skeletons of synanthropes. Nebraska man or ape man is an intermediate stage between ape and man that was rigged and constructed from a single wild pig tooth. It ended up with a loud rebuttal published. Lucy is another speculative reconstruction of the link between apes and humans. Biometric data showed that Australopithecus was not a humanoid creature. Lucy's body parameters match the monkeys. Australopithecus translates as southern ape Subscribe to the channels of Julia and Stanislav Saltanenko if you want to know the truth and not be deceived.